Okay, right now on the eight count boxing hour, we're gonna see Daniel Perez taking on Robert Britt. And right now we're talking to Jim Johnson, the manager trainer of, of the uh, pit bull from Albuquerque, Daniel Perez. Jim, uh, what do you know about Robert Britt, Daniel's opponent tonight? We, we don't know a whole lot about him. Uh, he's a pretty tough kid that's fought some top-notch guys. Here a couple years ago, he beat uh, Mickey Walker uh, for a 12-round for a title fight up in, uh, um, I believe it's up in Oregon or Washington. So he's, he's pretty tough. Okay, now Daniel Perez is coming off of his fight against Nigel Benn for the world title. Was that his last fight? And what do you want to tell us about that experience over there in Engl London, London, England? Now that that was a that was a rough fight, and and uh, of course every, we took it on short notice. We thought Daniel did real well. Let's move up. Okay, lady. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, London, England. Nigel Benn and Daniel Perez. Tell us about that. We, um, you know, he's he's bounced back from that fight real well. He he uh, made a good showing for himself in that fight. Uh, lasted towards the end of the seventh round and actually had Nigel Ben in trouble in the fifth round. So uh, the, the kid did real well for going out on a very short notice. He's uh, been back in the gym. His, he was two pounds under his uh, contract weight for this fight. So we're real tickled with how he's how he's uh, getting back in shape and getting back into the gym. Okay, now. Uh we're just moments away from Daniel's fight with Robert Britt, and we're going to go right to that action here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Any predictions on the outcome uh, for Daniel tonight? I, I think Daniel's going to look real sharp. We're uh, we're wanting him to up his punch stats and uh, uh, work work behind his combinations. And I think Robert Britt's going to be uh, pretty tough, especially the first two or three rounds. So I don't I don't expect it to be a real easy blow away fight or anything like that. I think he's going to get some good hard work here. Okay, we wish you the best of luck tonight. Daniel Perez taking on Robert Britt right here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Let's go to the action. So Daniel Pitbull Perez now into the ring. We're awaiting his opponent, Robert Britt, out of Anchorage, Alaska. You saw Daniel weighing in for this fight. And Robert Britt uh, missed his plan. He came into town late and had to weigh in the day of the fight. And there, now right now you're looking into the corner of Daniel the Pitbull Perez. Of course, last time we saw him in action was on Showtime Worldwide Television for the world title against Nigel Benn. But right now, let's go up to ring announcer Henry Tafoya and get the information on these two.
And round one is underway. Dan Cisneros at ringside, and you're watching the eight count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque. And you're looking into the ring at two fighters in the light heavyweight division in the brown trunks out of Anchorage, Alaska. That's Rock and Robert Britt who gets rocked right now from Daniel Pettos. And Pettos now goes on the attack. Body shots comes up to the head. Now look at Daniel Pettos digging to the body. Robert Britt, ooh, he answers back with the right hand, but he's taking some sh wicked shots to the body here. Daniel Pettos coming out quick. And Robert Britt goes down. That's a knock, that will count as a knockdown. And Pettos, <laughs> referee Nephi Quintana has to literally pry Daniel Pettos off of Robert Britt as he was dropped. Actually, the ropes held him up, and this will go as a knockdown. And Robert Britt, who was telling me before this fight that he that he uh, heard that Daniel Pettis had no power and he would have no trouble with Daniel Pettis. So a big surprise for Robert Britt as he, as he comes out and mixes it up. And Daniel Pettis coming out strong and puts uh, Robert Britt down, not all the way down, but knocked him against the ropes and that goes as a knockdown against Robert Britt. So he starts off in Al Albuquerque is not a good place to get yourself into a hole when you're facing a fighter like Daniel Pettis in his own hometown. And Robert Britt now has a long way to go. Daniel Pettis again rocks Robert Britt. He's knocking him all over the ring, literally knocking him across the ring. Daniel Pettis looking like the pit bull that he's named after tonight. A hungry Daniel Pettis. Looking very confident, of course. Last time Pettis was in the ring was in London, England, taking on the Dark Destroyer world champion Nigel Benn for that WBC world title. Pettis had Nigel Ben hurt, had him against the ropes and hurt. Gave him a good scare, but of course Nigel Ben coming back to win that fight. Daniel Pettis taking that fight on a very short notice, five days to get ready and packed up and fly out to London. Again, Daniel Pettis hurts Britt. So Daniel Pettis really hurting this guy, Robert Britt, <laughs> not giving him a chance to get into this fight. Oh my goodness, Daniel Pettis in the red trunks, Robert Britt in the brown. Coming all the way from Anchorage, Alaska to take on world-rated Daniel Perez here in Perez's hometown. We're at Tingley Coliseum here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is the semi-main event to Danny Romero's return to the ring against Jose Quirino. That fight coming up later. But right now you're looking at Daniel Perez in the red trunks with the black trim. The pit bull from Albuquerque taking on Robert Britt in the brown trunks. We're in the first round and it's been a really good one for Daniel Perez of Albuquerque. Just really doing some damage to Robert Britt. But give Britt credit, he's still in there. And he's trying to go to the body and that ends round one. Okay, we get ready for round two now. That opening round, a good one for Albuquerque's Daniel Perez. The pit bull from Albuquerque rocked Robert Britt several occasions. Britt gamely fighting back, but Daniel Perez showing surprising strength tonight. And again, oh, and again a right hand from Daniel Perez. Boy, he's looking strong tonight. Daniel Perez, the very fine technical boxer, the brawler who can box, very unusual. Not the big knockout punch, but he can really get in there and ball with you. As I said earlier, he had Nigel Ben hurt in his world title attempt. And oh, how he wishes he could have had time to prepare for that fight. But he took it on short notice. He don't say no to a world title shot. And Daniel Perez had Nigel Ben hurt, knocking him into the ropes and giving him a good scare. And that really, really did a lot to Daniel Perez's reputation. It really boosted him, gave him a little bit of recognition worldwide on Showtime. Of course, Daniel Perez holds wins over Earl Butler and Chris Sandy. And losing in his uh, NABF title attempt in a very controversial split decision to Warren Williams. And that fight taking place in Cancun, Mexico. Daniel Perez also losing a very hard fought and tough majority decision to world rated Thomas Ice T. Tate, that fight taking place in Bakersfield, California. And Daniel Perez has been involved in some great, great fights.
Oh, again, Daniel Pettis with a left hook and comes back with some body shots now. And really looks like he's in control of this fight to this point. Robert Britt got off to a bad start getting hurt in that first round, but he's game, give him credit. He's still standing up to it. But man, right now, I tell you, Daniel Perez looks like he's really at home in the ring and in complete control of this bout to this point. Third man in the ring is New Mexico's Nephi Quintana, the man who has worked over 26 world title fights as a judge or referee. A good crowd here at Tingley Coliseum. Not a whole lot known about Robert Britt. Uh, we saw a table him against uh, Puerto Rico's Miguel Jimenez. That fight taking place at the Riviera in Las Vegas. And uh, Miguel Jimenez, who is a pretty hot prospect, uh, got the win over Robert Britt. And that's all I've seen of him on videotape. And that ends round two. We'll be back. Looking into the corner of Robert Britt now, he gets up off his stool. That's Roy Griego working the corner for Robert Britt. Britt in the brown trunks. Uh, I have him down two rounds to none and a two-point round in that opening round, so he's got a long way to come back here. This bout is scheduled for eight. These are light heavyweights. Both men are usually fighting in the super middleweight division, but this bout going down on contract as a light heavyweight fight. Daniel Pettis coming in at about 174 pounds. Again, you see Pettis going to the body, that left hand of the body really damaging. And Robert Britt trying to rock a little bit from side to side and get out of the way of those shots. Daniel Pettis has a, a fine jab, and he's really got all the punches, the uppercuts and the hooks. He doesn't have the one-punch knockout power, but he's a boozing body puncher. And for a big Husky fighter, he's really pretty tricky, quite elusive. Of course, I had the pleasure of working the corner for Daniel Perez in his fight against Barry Basler a couple of years back, that fight in Denver, Colorado, and uh, Perez winning handily with a unanimous decision, pitching a shutout in that fight. He was never really pushed by uh, Denver's Barry Basler. We're in round three now. These are light heavyweights coming to you from Tingley Coliseum here on the eight count boxing hour, community cable channel 27 only in Albuquerque. And there you see Perez now. He Throws that little jab and then comes back with a solid right hand, landing flush on Robert Britt. And, and Britt tries the left hand, it doesn't get through. Pretty good defense on the part of Daniel Perez. He's not a real uh, defensive wizard, but he has a good solid defense. A record of 89 and 12 as an amateur. And he was a real fine amateur fighter. And he's done well as a pro. Climbing up the hard way, but he has had that NABF title shot and then the world title shot, and he's, he's still in search of that gold. He'd like to win some type of belt, working his way back now, giving it one more try. Getting a lot of world-class recognition on Showtime in his world title fight against Nigel Ben. And you see him there standing up straight, kind of dips over to his right throwing that right hand. Now he's flicks, flicking the jab, and Robert Britt just kind of creeping his way in there, plodding forward, trying to land a big shot on Daniel Perez and turn this fight around. We've just witnessed three first round knockouts here in our first three fights, so the crowd is enjoying this one. Round four underway. You're watching the eight count boxing hour. Daniel Pitbull Pettis in the red trunks with the black trim. His opponent from Anchorage, Alaska, Robert Britt. Rocking Robert Britt. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds. So we're just about halfway through. 
Daniel Perez had Robert Britt hurt early in the first round. Both men came out charging at each other and Daniel Perez really went to work on him. Landed some monster shots and just had Britt in all kinds of trouble. But Robert Britt stood up to it and he's still here. And there you see him trying to go to the body and now Daniel Perez just kind of hugs him. And this fight looks like it might turn kind of nasty here. Oh, Perez <laughs> with a right hand and now a combination. And Robert Britt comes back with some wide shots and he's hitting the shoulders and arms of Perez. Again, you see Robert Britt just ducking his head and swinging. Of course, Robert Britt was a regional amateur champion, so he's a fine boxer. I mean, he is well schooled in the art of boxing. Pretty much considered as a journeyman, though, as a pro. Ooh, there's a left hand getting in on Perez. I don't think he liked that too much. And Daniel just kind of looks at him and comes back with a combination to the body. Looks like Daniel Perez's uh, game plan, go to the body tonight. He's been doing real nice digging underneath. Oh, and there's a left hand now from Daniel Perez. And Robert Britton buckles and falls back again. And Robert Britt coming in with his head low and Perez kind of hooking him up with that headlock. Daniel Perez, just a real smooth boxer, just like a glass of champagne, real smooth and bubbly. And every once in a while, he'll have a little pop. He can get you with it. But he's a real workman. He's he just a stylish boxer is the way he's been described, boxer puncher. Perez now misses with the left but comes back and lands that right on Robert Britt. You can hear Britt just grunting from here at ringside and now Perez sticks a right hand into the face of Robert Britt. So Britt really taking some damage to this point and really has not hurt Perez at all from what I can see. And there's a reminder up on the screen for you coming up later tonight, Danny Kid Dynamite Romero Jr returns to the ring to face former WBO world champion Jose Quirino. That bout is scheduled for 10 in the 115 pound division. That's our main event tonight, but right now you're looking at the semi-main, Perez and Britt. Now you look into the corner of Daniel Perez. That's Jake Valencia, Jim Johnson, and Daniel's father, Joe, working on the man there in the corner. That's Jake Valencia, who you see talking to him now, his co-manager, co-trainer. Daniel Perez training at the South San Jose Community Center in Albuquerque. And we're underway now with round five, scheduled for eight. These are light heavyweights. Daniel Perez in the red trunks with the black trim. And Rockin' Robert Britt in the brown trunks. Both men now just kind of trying to figure each other out here. Oh, and a, a body shot. Looks like a low blow from Robert Britt, and Perez was, he didn't like that too much. He felt it, boy, got in there just right at the waistband. It's not called as a low blow. And now Robert Britt may have woken up the pit bull again as Daniel Perez kind of complained about that and didn't get the call. Oh, a monster right hand from Perez and a followed by a left. Nice boxing on the part of Albuquerque's pit bull and Robert Britt is hurt again as he's driven back into the corner and Perez jumps on him. Boy, I think uh, Daniel Perez got the wake up call there. And Perez now has Robert Britt in the corner but kind of holding back. I don't know why. I think he should have jumped on him right there. Might have been a good chance to do some damage, but I think Perez is still feeling the effects of that low blow. He keeps pulling up at it, pulling at his trunks there. And Robert Britt with kind of this, this kind of funny look on his face. <laughs> like, like, I got you now, but so far I think Perez is doing all the damage. The fans are having a great time with this fight, though. They're really enjoying it. You can hear the remarks at ringside. Of 
course, Daniel Pettit is very popular here in Albuquerque. Of course, not the world, worldwide renowned such as Johnny Tapia and Danny Romero, but uh, very popular on the local circuit here in Albuquerque. Now you see Robert Britt trying to get in there with that jab. The southpaw, Robert Britt. I think he would do a little better if he could keep on jabbing, but he just kind of stops and lets Daniel Pettis take control. Maybe there's nothing he can do about it as Pettis is very strong tonight. Looks in good shape. He looks nice and fit even though he's coming in at 174. There's a good left hand finisher there by Perez as he finished on the combination with that left to the body. Perez's body punching has really been nice tonight. We'll be back. Looking into the corner now of Rock and Robert Britt. That's Roy Griego and Roy Jr. Working the corner for the out of towner tonight. Robert Britt. And he's got to come up with a game plan here because I've got him way behind on my card. And uh, it's an eight rounder as we get ready. Just waiting for the start of round six here. Six, seven, and eight. So Robert Britt's got three rounds to get busy here. He, had, he took an eight count there in, that, in the first round. And uh, I think he's lost every round since. Daniel Pettis doing some real nice body work and, and just kind of mixing it up real nicely. And if these two are mixing it up, it's getting down and dirty inside the ropes there. You can see Daniel Pettis is not a dancer, but he has a little bit of foot movement. Even though he's considered a brawler, he's not a real plotter. Kind of a unique style. You don't see a lot of fighters with the same style as Daniel Perez. Robert Britt, pretty much a straightforward boxer. Depending on that jab, coming in with that south pass foul. There's a good right hand from Perez. Kind of wobbled Robert Britt. Boy, Robert Britt really taking some punishment here, but he's very durable, obviously, because he's still in there, and he's really been taking some solid shots from Daniel Perez with Albuquerque. Again, the left hand of the body. Again, you see the nice body work by Daniel Perez, man. He is looking good tonight. Of course, Daniel's crowning win, I think, one of the, the best wins he's had as a pro against Cecil McKenzie. That fight taking place at the Albuquerque Convention Center. Former NABF champion Cecil McKenzie. Perez put McKenzie down and went on to take a decision, a unanimous decision. And Cecil McKenzie was the man that went on to win the NABF title against Warren Williams, who won against Daniel Perez. So I guess it's a matter of styles as these fighters kind of all mixed up there. And Daniel Perez able to beat the champ, but not when he held the title. So Daniel Perez still in search of, of some type of title, looking for that North American Boxing Federation title. I think that's the one he'd really like to have. Of course, Daniel Perez under new management and training, formerly with uh, Albuquerque's Joe Torrieta, but Daniel uh, moving on to work with uh, Jim Johnson and Jake Valencia of Albuquerque. And again, you see that left hand just sink into the body of Robert Britt. He's really getting softened up now, and I don't think it's too long till he's ready to go at this rate. You can see that he's trying. He's trying to get to Perez, but Daniel Perez is much more elusive than he looks. Nigel Ben giving some real high praise to Daniel Perez after their fight, admitting that he was hurt and he was very surprised at the, at the big shot out of nowhere by Daniel Perez. And maybe Daniel learning a lesson from Nigel Ben because it was Ben who used a body attack to stop Daniel Perez and we'll be back. Round seven underway now, we've got two to go. Six minutes for Daniel Perez to get through and six minutes for Robert Britt to come up with some way of winning this fight. 
Robert Bitt with an entertaining performance, but not much of a chance of winning this fight on my scorecard anyway, unless he can score a couple of knockdowns or, or stop Daniel Perez, and he has shown no signs of that so far. Daniel Perez in complete control of this fight. The only time he was hurt was from a possible low blow, but other than that, uh, really in control, full command tonight of all the weapons in his arsenal, Daniel Perez in the red trunks with the black trim. Of course, coming up later, the return of Dinamita, Danny Romero Jr. of Albuquerque, the former IBF flyweight champion, makes his return after his stunning upset loss to Willie Salazar on that eye injury, and Danny Romero coming back with a vengeance. He has something to prove, and he's in search of another world title, so the 115-pound division better look out because Danny Romero is back in action tonight. That's coming up a little bit later on. Right now, you're looking at Daniel Perez out of Albuquerque, world-ranked super middleweight, fighting in a light heavyweight division, and right now going to work on Robert Britt and just hammers him, and Britt falls down. That will not be a knockdown, but he is definitely taking damage, telling the ref, I'm, I'm all right. You can read his lips there. But his face is starting to look battered. He's really taking a beating here. But there's no quit in Robert Britt. He keeps on boxing. Now you see him doing a little shuffling here, a little dancing, trying to get something back into his legs. I think his legs are about to betray him here. Robert Britt trying to get up on his toes and stick and move here against Daniel Perez. Again, the left hand to the body from Perez. Real nice body work tonight. I just love it here. Daniel Perez throwing some nice body shots. And now the two men are saying something to each other. Here, look at Robert Britt talking. He's talking mess to Perez and the two are spitting at each other here. I haven't seen that in a while. This one's getting ugly here. Robert Britt's getting kind of, kind of angry here and Daniel Perez is known for his temper so <laughs> these two guys are really, really fighting here. Perez needs to keep his cool though because with his boxing skills he has complete control of this fight and I wouldn't do anything foolish. I would continue to box and dominate this fight as he's doing. But maybe that's Robert Britt's plan here to get Perez angry and, and get him into a rage and make a mistake. So far, Robert Britt unable to get to Daniel Perez. Hardly a mark on the face of, of Daniel Perez. And Robert Britt has lumps all over his face. He's been battered and bruised. So we've got one round to go now. Rocking Robert Britt standing up between rounds. Referee Nephi Quintana checks with him to make sure he's okay now. We're getting ready to go into, into the last round of this fight. And you look into the corner again. Jake Valencia talking to his man, Daniel Perez and Jim Johnson, who you met in the opener. And of course, Daniel's father, Joe Perez, always in his corner. And now you look into the corner of Robert Britt, Roy Diego and son, trying to patch this man up and, and just hold him together to get through one more round, maybe pull off a miracle here. He was talking to Perez. I don't know what he was telling him, but he, the two guys were exchanging words in the ring there and we're ready for the final round here. Okay, here we go now, round eight. Final round, Daniel Perez in the red trunks with the black trim, rocking Robert Britt out of Anchorage, Alaska in the brown trunks. And we'll see what Britt can do here in this final round to pull this fight out. I have Daniel Perez ahead, uh, <laughs> seven rounds to none. Another shutout in the books unofficially here on the eight count boxing hour. I have him pitching a shutout here. And Perez who had hurt, uh, Robert Britt hurt in that first round, really looked like he could have put him away, but unable to do so. And uh, I don't know if that'll cost him, but. Daniel Perez has done a nice job of boxing tonight. He looks like he's on his way to a victory here. Don't make any crazy mistakes and he'll be okay, but looks like he's going after that knockout right now. You can see Perez, I, I think he's thinking about that right hand. He'd like to end this with a spectacular knockout, but the win is just fine in the books for Daniel Perez. As he, oh man, a nice straight right, knocks the head back of Robert Britt. 
And then you see the fast hand worth of Daniel Pettis on the combination. Again, the jabs and the... Oh, man, Daniel Pettis really putting on a show tonight. Man, he's just putting on a show here against Robert Britt. A reminder again up on the screen. Romero Quirino coming up here in the main event tonight here on the 8-count boxing hour. So Daniel Pettis so far in complete control. And you have to think if this had been a 10-round bout that he would have a good shot at stopping Robert Britt who has really been just hammered throughout this fight. And Daniel Perez has been content to pace himself and win every round. Oh, look at that body shot straight into the midsection of Robert Britt. And Britt's taking it. The man's got a solid chin. Again, the right hand. Daniel Perez reaches in, and then Britt misses with a left counter shot. And Daniel Perez gives him a big smile and comes back with a combination. Boy, Danny Perez is really just having fun in there tonight. You can see it. The guy's just enjoying himself here, taking apart, absolutely dismantling Robert Britt. A nice performance tonight by Daniel Perez. Just a little bit of time left in this fight now. And now you see Robert Britt come back with a little combination, but it's too little too late for Robert Britt. Unless he can come up with lightning in a bottle. Daniel Perez is just stalking Britt. Oh, and Daniel with that nice left hand counter over the jab of Britt. And that ends the fight. Excellent work tonight by Daniel Perez of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Daniel Pitbull Perez out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. A nice performance tonight by Danny.